Hello, my name is Jan Mattes. I'm Chief Product Manager for SAP Business by Design Cloud ERP. And I'm now going to show you how you can manage your subscription business with a nice KPI and a report. So first of all, let me explain the business problem. So many businesses in the world are basically um, analyzing their business more and more and they also have a deeper look into what part of their revenues is basically um, subscription based and to do so you might be introducing uh, reports and KPIs to track that so what we have here in the heart of my dashboard is a subscription revenues uh, KPI and if I uh, drill into that subscription KPI then I can see um, the amount of uh, money I might earn based on the subscriptions my customers sign so what you see here is basically um, uh, an analysis which tells me what the current year subscription value is, what the last year subscription value has been, and also the value from the two years ago. And more interesting is basically what you see here underneath. That's an uh, analysis uh, of um, all the order items that I have. Uh, you see junior consultancy, um, senior consultancy, but also software license and uh, basically services which are part of a subscription and are not being invoiced um, basically after the fact, after the consultancy is over, but over a longer period of time. And that's why we also have two key figures. That's the net value key figure, that's the total amount. And as you can see here, um, some of them basically are also split to so-called invoice schedule items. And those invoice schedules are nothing else than um, a, a depiction um, of the values which get invoiced over time, let's say in a month, monthly cadence. If I drill down uh, a bit deeper, um, you will be seeing the following picture. You can see basically um, all your orders here. Um, and in those orders, you can then also identify which of them basically have a subscription revenue. So um, a monthly revenue, which might be coming in every month. So you see if I zoom here in, uh, that's the overall amount of the order 4013. It's 2646. 60. And um, then we have also an invoiced amount, which is basically coming from an invoice schedule. So that's the logic behind that. And if I expand that here, basically, uh, I can see what items we have here in detail um, and how they also split up. So an example, um, if I expand here an item which is time and material based, so that's the initial setup, it's 800 euros. If I expand that, then I see uh, it's being invoiced right away. So there is no invoice schedule behind that. But here for the uh, junior consultancy, it's 2000 US dollars, and those are being split into customer uh, invoice schedule items. And if I uh, have an even more detailed view, then uh, you can see I can expand here also, let's say the junior consultancy and you see the 2000s, that's the top value I find in the sales order and it splits basically to um, monthly values of 200 US dollars and that's basically what you would like to report. You see here on top, that's the 95,000 total value, 33,000 are split over various months and uh, over time and that's basically the, the interesting figure. How did I achieve that? now um, well it's uh, basically that i use um, some one of the predefined data sources that we have in business by design you find that data source here in um, if you go into the business analytics work center and if you search for invoice schedule then you basically find uh, a data source which we deliver out of the box. That's the sales order item with invoice schedules. If you look into that, you basically find the key, the core information of it. But um, you might want to join this with more information coming from the sales order. So this is basically just the core. And what I did now is I joined that data source 
uh, with uh, the sales order volume uh, data source. And that gave me basically the ability to combine all the key figures and characteristics coming from the one data source with the sales order with invoice schedule data source. So here you see, let's say that data source, which I created, um, I get all the 240 characteristics from the sales order data source, uh, but also uh, the key figures. And I can combine it with the invoice schedules. That's the secret behind all of this. I hope you liked what you've seen and stay tuned for more videos.